So this is a TR606 drum machine. What we're looking at is the back of the board where the two uh, 4K SRAM chips are. These are now a vintage piece of equipment and they're, you know, uh, you would say difficult to find the originals, but you can find replacements that do exactly the same thing made by other manufacturers. What I'm going to do here is just remove this 18-pin uh, IC, as you see right here, I already removed this one, um, and do it on video so you can see how I'm about to do that. So what you do, I have my temperature on this iron set pretty high uh, because I want the uh, solder to be as liquid as possible for the longest amount of time as possible, but not high enough to damage anything. So you work quickly. What you do is you touch the pin. I'm not going to do it until I'm just about ready to do it and then put this iron as close to the board as possible. If you could even capture it like that, that's even better. Because the whole point is that now that you have a piece of liquid on your board, you're actually sucking air from the bottom of the board up and through the hole and out into this solder sucker. So you're just removing the solder entirely. This solder sucker is already loaded, so I'm going to do this right here. Now this takes a matter of about two or three seconds, so pay attention. Here goes there. And as you see, this is completely cleared. That's all there is to it. So you reload the thing and you keep going. There's a second one. And as I'm uh, pushing the plunger out, I'm doing it on a table because it's shooting out old solder right now. And you don't want that to get anywhere on your board, anywhere in where you're doing. Solder's for parts. Solder's not for a mess. Every time that I'm going after one of these pins, too, I'm sticking my iron into one of those copper, uh, what, whatchamacallit, because you don't want to have residual solder sitting on your tip either. So as you can see, I'm halfway done. If you're looking at this video because you're having a hard time doing it, I bet this makes it look easy. And you know, with a little practice, it actually is. If you get one of these guys, the solder pumps that is, and a decent soldering iron, a good way to practice with this is to just get some scrap electronics, like an old hi-fi that isn't worth anything, and uh, just start picking parts out. And there's actually an objective in doing that, because then you get a lot of cool parts. You might get a transformer, like a few good caps and a collection of resistors, if you don't want to spend two cents and buy like a thousand of them at a store. So there, we're all done. There's uh, another step you need to take first. Even though we have the solder removed, there still could be a little bit of solder on there that's holding the pins in. Uh, if we try to pull the socket out this way, uh, because of leverage, it's going to hold it on pretty well. So what you need to do then is take a small screwdriver and go over these pins and just push them around and see if they are um, free. If they're not, give them a little force. Most of the time they'll push free, just like that. And there's another one. This one's a little stiff. You may have to go over them twice. But if you don't get it the first time, second time is usually pretty easy. And just do the same thing again with whatever solder is left. There, that one's free. And that one's free. So there, half of it's done. Go to the other side. That's free, this one. There, I pushed it free. That one's a little stiff. Even if it looks like you're not melting the solder, your iron's pretty hot. You're probably getting somewhere. There we go, free, free, free. That one's a little stiff still. The closer you can get the desoldering iron actually on the surface of the board, the better chance of getting all these at once. That one's free. Now it's free. Now it's free. So from here, all you got to do is just take your screwdriver and very gently just pry the chip off. Since you have all three legs of the thing, try not to bend anything. It just comes out. You're almost done. Now that we have the IC free, we got a board that's kind of hacked up with solder splatter everywhere. 
<clears throat> the best way of just taking care of this is to take your hot iron and just draw on it. Just draw over all the legs. Try not to um, um, seal up any of these holes because you're going to put something back in here, I presume. You might see some flux places. That's okay. It's not conductive, but you can draw over it and clean it up. So just like that. Don't bridge anything too. You don't want to make any hairline connections. And that's it. All there is to it.